Hi, I just wanted to do a uh, quick review on the movie Monster Summer. I saw this opening night, which was this last Friday, October 4th. Me and my wife went and saw it. And I, I didn't even know this movie existed until about two days before it released. And seeing that Mel Gibson was in it, reading the synopsis, reading a interview with the director and the movie takes place in 1997. It's a group of kids. Uh, kids are going missing in their town. They reach out to the uh, like the creepy old guy who lives on the outskirts of town. You know, turns out he's a good guy with a tragic past, and he's a retired detective. He's the only one that believes the kids. Um, so what I'm getting at is, once I realized that's what the movie was. Is like, oh wow, yeah, like I totally want to see this because, you know, there's so many great movies from the 90s and 80s with that central premise. And more often than not, they're really fun movies to watch. So, um, yeah, it was just a total no brainer to go check it out. Wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I was keeping my expectations in check and the movie far exceeded my expectations i thought i thought the spooky scenes were actually spooky um it was funny it, once the movie was over i was leaving the theater with my wife and throwing my popcorn bucket away and i could hear this uh this father who was about my age talking with like i don't know maybe like a seven-year-old son and the dad was saying like yeah that one scene i got goosebumps and and i got goosebumps too so i i said to, to the dad um you know, I, I got goosebumps too during that scene. And then it, it was it was a lot of fun just, just you know, talking to the father and his son. I asked the kid if, if he liked the movie, if he thought it was scary. And he, he said it was kind of scary to him. And he was complaining about the jump scares, which I thought was funny. He kept saying, like, they were cheap. And th there aren't a lot of jump scares. But, you know, him saying that took me back to when I was his age and... Yeah, like, so the kid absolutely got scared. It's one of those things where you talk yourself up afterwards. Like, oh, like, I didn't get scared. Like, that 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 scare was just cheap. You know, like, jump scares are cheap. So that was fun. And I, and um, the father said, you know, he, he liked it a lot. Had fun with it. And, and I, I said, I was like, you should show your kid Ernest Scared Stupid, you know, if, you've ne if he's never seen that. And, and uh, the husband's wife was there, too, and... They were both like, oh, wow, that's such a good idea. I haven't seen that movie in years. And like, that's what Monster Summer is. Like, it's just, it's a fun movie you can go watch, you know, with your girlfriend, your wife, your kids. Um, I mean, go see it by yourself. Like, if, if, if you enjoy those movies from back then, like, you'll probably enjoy this. Mel Gibson's really good in it. The, uh, the child actor who's the co-lead, he's really good. The script is good. Um, the pacing's good. I, I feel like maybe like a few minutes could have been shaved off. It's, it's 97 minutes long. You won't guess the villain. They do a really good job of like not indicating that the villain is, is who it is. And the climax really surprised me with how much it ramped up. Like I was just kind of laughing to myself like oh cool like they're really going for it you know like everything's been kind of spooky but still like kid friendly and um yeah like the end scene if you i mean if you have like a six seven year old in there they're gonna get scared like Ernest scared stupid scared the shit out of me when i when i saw it when i was like five and and that movie is like more intense with the monster aspect but uh Monster Summer is, is is really fun. There is a monster in it. Like it's, it, you know, like there is supernatural stuff going on. It's got a really fun mystery aspect, you know, and, and yeah, it, it, it's good. It, it, it kept you engaged. It was predictable, but you won't guess the ending. So like that was nice to be like, oh, wow. You know, I didn't see that coming. Um, Just a lot of fun. And it was it was a very timely movie too because I I checked this out from the uh, public library the other week and I I've read this book before but if you've never heard of it and and you like you know the premise of Monster Summer if you like it you know you've probably read it a Summer of Night is is a like it's basically it light um but it's so good and it, and it's by Dan Simmons 
Uh, he's done a lot of historical fiction. He's a pretty famous author. Uh, the Amazon streaming series called The Terror. That's based on one of his books. But Summer of Night is really good. It's about 600 pages. I, I personally, I, I've read it probably like three times. I go to I go to Summer of Night now. Like if if I want to read a a story like it, I'll just go to Summer of Night. Like this is my go to. I feel it just moves along at a uh, quicker pace. I honestly like like the writing better. It's just it's really fun. It's it's kind of like a more uh, horror, like a much more horror centric uh, Ray Bradbury type novel. And and if you grew up in the Midwest, if you grew up in the suburbs especially at a time where you where you would just ride your bike with kids, you know, like there were no cell phones, there wasn't the internet, you were just outside playing and, uh, you know, like, or, you know, maybe playing Super Nintendo with your friends, but you were just hanging out and using your imagination and just like taking advantage of, you know, the simple joys of being a kid. Um, yeah, Summer and Night is a great book. Definitely uh, check it out if, if that's something you're interested in. So thanks for watching. Bye.